All right, uh, I'm gonna do this video because there's uh, I want to make a note for myself. There's something really bugs me uh, when you export skeleton mesh to Blender and bring it back to Unreal. And so far, let's say, for example, you have that skeleton mesh and you just want to do like a very simple modification. So you're going to export that to Blender. So you go on uh, asset, uh, where's asset, 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 action, export. So I'm going to put this on the folder. So it's, I'm going to export the SK uh, Quinn sample. So you, you just leave everything as is. You export that. Then you go to your Blender, go to File, Import, FBX. And I'm just going to import that guy. Don't do anything special, just import it. And now it should be there. All right. So if I look at it, so first of all, of course, there's a couple of um, roots, uh, not roots, but LOD. So let's say you just want to modify the, uh, uh, we're going to take the most expensive one, which one it is. So if I look here, um, this guy or this guy or this guy okay this guy have the highest resolution so we're going to work on this so basically we're just going to do simple very something very simple i'm gonna i'm gonna do like um i'm, I'm gonna add a mirror just to make it at least look not too bad mirror mirror there we go and then i'm gonna pick this i'm gonna create horn Okay. All right. So <clears throat> that's my piece of heart. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. Uh, then you go edit mode like this. You apply and then you get your your new mesh. So that's the thing you want to you want to get that inside of Unreal. Okay. Um, so what you typically do, you just want to do like you select all that like this and you do file export fbx so the first thing to be careful of of course you create a new name so i'm gonna call this hell and uh, you go to the geometry node so you need to do face uh, we don't need to import animation and for the armature you don't want to add the bone leaves because it create a mess but it's still not enough because if i export that as is and i go there import this guy first of all is huge i don't know why but anyway you import that and it kind of detects everything you say okay let's do this and then you get that error fail to merge bones and so so if you import that, it's going to mess up your skeleton mesh and everything. And what actually um, happening is it's just like a very stupid thing. Um, you, you cancel that because if you do this and if you look at uh, your object, it's, it's completely messed up. So you, you just delete that, that thing. So what you have to do is to not select the folder being created by Blender. You just have to select only the root, pause if you want and all that stuff. But you go, you select root, pause, root again and your mesh. And then you do a file export FBX and you just pick the selected object because you just want to export that. You don't want that, that, that part. I was going to say a bad word, but anyway, so and then you export this on top of it, export. So now I go back here, import this guy, which is still massively huge, which I don't know why. I can't believe my small modification create that. But anyway, so we create this, this, this. And you said, OK, import. So you pick the right skeleton. So you just import it. <laughs> I understand why my skeleton is so big now. <laughs> I got a double, double guy. So I didn't watch this, but look what is there. Ta-da! I got another one. <laughs> 
Oh my god, okay, let's remove this. Planning to do something super quick, but hey. That's that's life. Alright, so I reimport that guy. Focus on it. There we go. We're gonna pick on the the first one here. We're gonna hide the other one. Okay, so obviously this is the worst way to edit <laughs> a mesh, but it's just for a demo. So, and then, okay, then I want to be sure I don't have, because what I did is I just put that, I think the Z and I create that huge match. So I just remove this guy and then we apply that. Of course, on edit mode, I remove this. We keep that modifier because it's part of the uh, the root system. So we don't have to do any messy with that. So you select all the guy you need, root, pause by pressing control or just shift you get all those guy export fbx then you go to overwrite that and be sure don't bake animation don't add the bone leaves make face here so we are all good export that let's go back here kill that guy uh, import. Oh, now it's more reasonable. It's still huge. I can't believe that the little modification I did make that big difference. Anyway, so just import that. Everything seems to fit. Don't create any material. Import a mesh. Skeleton fit to the right one. Import it. Cross our finger. Again, fail to merge bone. Cancel. Okay, so what are we gonna do instead? Pfft, my God, it's a nightmare. This is the thing I don't like from Unreal Engine Blender and Unreal Engine. They don't like each other enough. <laughs> they need to be more and more more in tune. So let's um, open that guy. So I'm gonna just not. To any skeleton, all right? So I'm gonna import that. So he's gonna create his own skeleton mesh and we're gonna see what's messy. So if I look at that guy, I still have my folder here and that, and I don't need those guys. So this is the problem because if I compare that with the original skeleton mesh thing, there's no that those folder does not exist. So that's the problem here. So I need to find a workaround to stop having Blender generate that or Unreal importing it. So we're gonna delete this again. Uh, delete that guy. All right, so let's go back to Blender and be sure. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Select when I did my selection, I did my export FBX. I forgot to take this guy. All right. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna work now. Sorry for that long video. If you're still watching, I mean, <laughs> you are a trooper. All right. Open that. Remove this. Oh well. Let's 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 use the SK. It should work now. Import that. So we're gonna use the SK. K mannequin and port everything. This for me. Yay! <laughs> oh, it, and I create a physical asset. That's the other thing I don't like. So I just want to use the same physical asset than the other guy. So let's put here to compare. The whole idea here was to have the animation being, uh, let's put something like an idle, uh, being working. And if I compare with uh, my new one i should have access to use animation asset there we go because previously i should i showed that but it was not available and if i do play there we go both guys have a new work so that's the way i just modify i make an ugly head <laughs> no artistic skills <laughs> 
but that works anyway so the other little thing uh, i don't like it create um a new a new physical asset because it's typically not as good as the original so if we look at the original okay so the way to find it is over there you just go physical asset there we go so physical asset that's what i wanted fine where is this okay that's the one we want to keep because it's well done it's all following the uh, animation so i want to associate this pa mannequin which is mean physical asset so one things to do uh, go back here we go uh, now when i import my hell quinn hell it create that physical asset which is a mess i don't like it so what we do is we're going to delete it force delete there we go and this guy now i have no physical asset so you can go here and create physical asset or assign but it doesn't it doesn't allow you to assign from that menu so you open it and then you go to physical asset here we go and then you pick the one you want there we go like that and now we have that proper um proper uh, physical asset that will be that will work better so for example if we uh, enable physic where's physic playing stop putting me physic 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 where's physic enable simulate physics sorry simulate physic simulate physic when we're gonna launch it's gonna launch a rack though and they both just perfectly react to the situation there we go so that was my long video <laughs> about how to modify um, about to modify um, an asset a skeleton mesh using blender there's a little trick just be sure you select everything you need no no menu created by blender so that's the little issue all right thanks for watching